Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can improve your website score on Google Page Insights using the WP Rocket plugin. So basically from this score, which is really bad, to this score, where everything is all great. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now, first let's analyze our website on Google Page Insights. Let me open our website. Let's learn WordPress.com. So this is our new website. Let's test its score. Search for Google Page Insights. This is the link. Click on it. Type the URL and analyze. Please note this will take some time to analyze your website. You can see that the score currently is very bad. The mobile score is 22 and the desktop score is 49. So now let's improve this score. We will use the WP Rocket plugin. This is the official WP Rocket website. Let's check the pricing. So these are the pricing for WP Rocket. Anyway, I have already downloaded the WP Rocket plugin. Let me install it on my website. We will compare the new score with this one later. Let's log in to the site's dashboard slash WP dash admin. Enter the credentials. So we are in the dashboard. Go to plugins and add new. I have already downloaded the plugin. The plugin is on the desktop. Anyway, let me upload it. Choose file. Open. And install. So the plugin has been installed. Activate it. WP Rocket is now activated. You can go to settings from here. Or you can go to its settings from here. Please note that automatic updates for WP Rocket is disabled. Whenever new updates come, you will be notified here. And you can update it manually. Anyway, go to settings. Let me close this. No thanks. In this first dashboard, there is nothing to be done. On cache, enable cache for mobile devices. And leave this to default and save changes. Then go to file optimization. Click on Minify CSS and activate Minify CSS. Click Combine CSS and activate it. Tick Optimize CSS Delivery and activate Remove Unused CSS. If your website has some issues or if some content does not work properly, you can also try this option. For now, let me activate it. Tick Minify JavaScript and activate it. Combine JavaScript, click on it and activate. Please note, either Combine JavaScript or Delay JavaScript execution can be activated only one. Let me tick Delay JavaScript and also click Load JavaScript Differ. As mentioned, either this or this can be used. Save changes. You can see this option is activated. After all these settings, please check your website. Some themes might have some issues. If in case there is any problem, untick each option one by one and check what is causing the problem. Unticking these settings will default back your website. Do the same with the JavaScript settings too and check all the components of your website. For now, I will activate Minify CSS and save changes. On Mikia, I will enable it for images. Also, 
Enable if from Zen videos. If there is any image you want to exclude, simply write it here. Also, tick the missing image dimensions. And save changes. On preload, I will activate preloading. I will enable preload links. I will leave this DNS. If there are any theme fonts bar icons, you can paste the link in this format. Save changes. I will dismiss this notice. Advanced rules. If there are any URLs you do not want to cache, add them here. Or if you want any URLs to exclude, I will leave this. On database. It will clean your database. I will delete revisions and drafts. Basically, you can tick them all. Optimize table. Please note this will clean your database and it cannot be reverted back. So it is recommended to save the database before doing these. Anyway, save changes and optimize. So the optimization is running. All these will be gone. On CDN, if you have any, you can use them here. I do not have it. Harpy. Click on the control, Harpy. Save changes. Let me check the database. You can see it's cleaned. I will clean the comments. In fact, we'll delete everything. Add-ons. I do not have these, so we'll leave this. If you have compatible plugins, you can use them. I do not have a Magify plugin, so we'll leave this too. On tools, you can export all the settings we did earlier and later import them, so you do not have to do all the settings. Let me also optimize the Google Fonts. Click on it. So it is all done. The most important setting is file optimization. Some websites might have some issues. Images may not load or some functions may not work. In that case, you will need to uncheck and check each setting to see what is causing the issue. With this delay JS, we had issues with layer slide. You can choose to exclude them. If your site has an issue, then go to this link. This is from WP Rocket itself. Here are the settings for lots of popular plugins and themes. For info, control plus F and type info. Click on info. So here are the codes. Copy them and paste it here. Only do this if the site has issues. Nothing to be done if everything is good. Here, you can find loads of useful codes for your theme and plugins. Popular themes and plugins are included here. And this is from WP Rocket themselves. Please note, you may not have to use them if everything is working on your website. Anyway, let's save changes. The setup has been done. Let me quickly open the website and check it. Everything looks well good. Please do check the inside pages of your site too. Anyway, let's analyze our website on Google Page Insights. Here was our previous score on desktop. And this was on mobile. Now let's see what will be the new score. So, you can see that the score has massively improved. The score is 99. On the desktop, the score is again 99. So we have a top score for the site. 
you can see the earlier score was too bad without WP Rocket. And the new score is pretty nice. We hope this video was useful. Thank you very much.